हेलो और गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर लॉन्चिंग अवर हार्ड इंटरव्यू सीरीज फॉर मोर देन थ्री प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच इज आस्किंग स्ट्राइप कंपनी इन क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू रिलेट रिपीटेड पेमेंट्स समटाइम्स पेमेंट ट्रांजेक्शन आर रिपीटेड बाई एक्सीडेंट इट कुड बी ड्यू टू यूजर एरर API failure or retry error that causes a credit card to be charged twice using the transactions table identify any payments made at the same merchant with same credit card for the same amount within 10 minutes of each other count such repeated payments the first transactions of such payment should not be counted as a repeated payment this means if there are two transactions performed by a merchant with the same credit card and for the same amount within 10 minutes there will be only be one repeated payment so here they, uh, they have given us the table select star from transactions so here we need to uh, consider the repeated payment based on the merchant id credit card and amount will be same of the next transaction with regards to the previous transaction so here we need to use the lead analytical function you can uh, you can search more about lead function in google so here we need to first write all the columns let me write merchant id then credit card id amount transaction id and transaction time time stamp so remember one thing never try to write the entire query at the first shot just divide your query into the smaller part and then as per the requirement uh complete the query so here we need to use the lead function with regards to the time stamp and all the three combinations we need to consider so we need to do the partition by merchant id credit card id and amount because of th these three column value should be repeated in into the next transaction within 10 minutes so here we need to use lead transaction time stamp over partition by merchant id credit card id and amount in order by transaction time stamp so we can give this alias as transaction one now uh, what we need to do so we need to find the next transaction in previous transaction should be within 10 minutes of each other so here we need to use the extract function to calculate the difference in minutes between the lead transaction and current transaction so let me first write this one minus current transaction is this one and now we need to calculate the difference in minutes so extract minutes from this one so consider the alias is list transaction so now 
let me execute just uh, remove this star because it is not required now now we have to consider this entire transition inside city so that's why city is more useful in such kind of scenarios okay and here we need to uh, again use the transaction table with city to compare compare uh, values compare the difference between the two transition within 10 minutes of time and of course the joining conditions will be merchant id credit card id and amount so city dot merchant id we can give the alias to this one as t t dot merchant id and ct dot credit card id is equal to t dot and ct dot e dot amount now the final filter will be where lead transactions less than 10 10 minutes because we have already calculated the minutes over here so now let me execute the query okay there is some error it is given in line 19 this 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 select star from cte energy and transaction t okay on now let me execute again okay so here they have given us the repeated transactions so here we need to see the transaction id 1 transaction id 3 transaction id 8 and transaction id 10 all these are repeated transactions so here what we require go to the output here we require the count payment counts so means we require the distinct transaction ids from this so count of distinct transaction id is So these are, are the repeated payments happens within 10 minutes of the current transaction. So now let me execute the query. Okay, transaction ID is repeated in both the side. So here we can write anything. So the answer is 4. So now let me submit our query. Okay, congrats. Yes, great. It is correct. Our output is matched with the expected output. So, thank you so much everyone. If still you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to my channel Master SQL with Harsit Bhadiyadra. To crack any level of SQL or data related interviews in any companies. Thank you.